Many thanks for your time once again and for your beautiful voice, Mustafa Al Ali, to start the, the show. Um, we're now joined by Ibrahim Al Ansari. Assalamu alaikum, Ibrahim. Wa alaikum salam. How are you today? Alhamdulillah. How about yourselves? Doing well. Doing well. Good. Thank you very much. It's definitely, it's definitely, yeah, it's definitely <laughs> yeah. part of the show that we, me and Zara, definitely look forward to because um, from the many episodes that we've had with you before, um, it's it's a part of the show where. Uh, essentially, uh, just for the benefit of the viewers, um, the daily du'as. So the supplications, the literature of the Ahlul Bayt, um, the vehicles in which we discuss with God subhanahu wa ta'ala um, that the Ahlul Bayt used, we kind of shed light on some of the, the, the parts that people don't put much emphasis on mm. um, and hopefully kind of disseminate some new wisdom, new knowledge that people didn't know about. Uh, and Ibrahim, you do this perfectly. Um, so we very so much enjoy thoughts. our time with you. Yeah. Your good thoughts. Jazakumullah khair. So I think from, from the last episode we discussed um, the ziyarah of Imam Hussain salam, and in the last line there was a particular area that mentioned وَأَطَعْتَ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولَهُ حَتَّى أَتَاكَ الْيَقِينَ So we were discussing a lot about yaqeen and mm. we kind of we, we kind of Cut just it, focused on that, mm. we didn't have much time. So I think this episode we'd love to kind of get more, more information about yaqeen and I think me off, off air, me and Zara were talking about um, yaqeen from a fallible perspective. Mm. So from an infallible perspective, as, as Zara and you, you, you were mentioning, um, you know, uh, he's an infallible, so you know, he doesn't, he understands yaqeen before, uh, so he understands what certainty is before mm. that event arises. Yeah. Um, but okay, that, leaving that to one side, Let's focus on a person who's fallible, and it being the birth of uh, of Ali Akbar alayhi salam, and during the month of Shaban, um, we wanted to kind of shed light on on that aspect. Zara, what do you think? Absolutely, beautifully said. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. So tell us, firstly, yeah, in terms of Ali Akbar alayhi salam, who he is, what his what his life was about, really, um, and and the aspect of his certainty because he had met, he had a, a very strong stance yeah. in Karbala definitely. and his certainty when it comes to the discussion that we had definitely Ali al-Akbar the son of Imam al-Hussein alayhi afdal salatu wassalam the son of Layla who was his mother uh, of course Ali al-Akbar as a status and in terms of who he was it is the possibly one of the mo the best examples that a fallible can take from another fallible. Yeah. So Ali Al Akbar, he wasn't part of the Imams. He wasn't um, an infallible per se. He was a normal human being, just like we are. Fallible, could possibly make mistakes, but chose not to do them. Mm. Mm. There's, you see, once we have Asma. And this asma comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And once we have asma and that asma is chosen. Mm. So you choose to be infallible. Ali al-Akbar chose this infallibility. Just like Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas chose to be infallible. Just like um, Sayyidah Zainab. Sayyid Zainab chose to be infallible. This infallibility, when we say that they are infallible, we do not mean that they are infallible in the sense that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala purified them in that sense, in the way that he purified the Imams. But no, they chose to not make mistakes. They chose to become infallibles. His status was so high to the extent where that when he goes into the battle, Imam Hussein would turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he says, Allah mushhad, or Allah witness, that baraza ilayhim ashbah nas khalqan wa khuluqan wa mantiqan bi rasulillah. That towards them has gone to battle. The one who is most like the Prophet in terms of how he looks, his manners, and how he speaks. Mm. Now realize that Imam Al Hussein is saying that he is the one that is the one who's most like the Prophet. He didn't say that he is the one, as in Imam Hussein didn't say that about himself. Mm. He didn't say that about Imam Zainul Abidin, who is Imam Ali Al Akbar's brother. Of course, narrations differ. Some say that Imam Zain Abidin was older. Some say that Ali Akbar was older. Doesn't really matter in terms of in terms of these discussions. Um, so, he said that he is the one that looks most like the Prophet. Now, also when you come to um, uh, Ali Al Akbar and you wanted us to talk about Yaqeen, mm. it is because of the certainty that he had in Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and in the message that Imam Hussein wanted to. Um, carry on 
that when the companions of Imam Hussein all were martyred, Ali al-Akbar was the first to come to Imam Hussein. And he said to him, Abba hal min Oh father, do you, do you allow me to, to go forward to, uh, to battle? And at that moment, Imam Hussein didn't say yes. His eyes teared up. And Ali al-Akbar knew that this was his, um, uh, his okay, let's say, mm. his confirmation for him to go into the battlefield. So he had that sort of yaqeen. Now, how he attained that yaqeen as a fallible is through the same way that the infallible gains their yaqeen. That is through knowing Allah and the Prophet. In one word, it is taqwa, piety. When the Qur'an comes in Surah Al-Hujurat and it says, أعوذ من الشتار الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا خلقناكم من ذكر وأنثى وجعلناكم شعوبا وقبائل لتعارفوا إنا أكرمكم عند الله أتقاكم The one who is closest, the one with the greatest status towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who has most piety. When we come to look at what taqwa is, taqwa in simpler terms is obedience. Towards Allah and His Prophet. Why? Because taqwa in essence is God consciousness. Yeah. 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 If you are God conscious, it means you obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm-hmm. If you want to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you have to obey His Prophet because yeah. He ordered to do so. Therefore, the more you reach in depth in terms of obedience, the higher your status rises until you reach a state. Of yaqeen, exactly. just like in Ziyar Tuarif, hatta until yeah. attack al yaqeen, until you reach the status mm-hmm. of yaqeen. And if a fallible person like Ali al Akbar was able to do so, if Sayyidah Zainab was able to do so, regardless of us mentioning that they were brought up in such a household, yeah. we are able to do so too, yeah. without a doubt. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. So, do you want to explain, go further into what you've chosen today to yeah. recite? So, this is uh, the Ziyarah of Ali al Akbar. Now, one of the amazing things about Ali al-Akbar is that when you go to Ziyarah of Imam Hussein, is you will find that the place he is buried in is by the feet of his father. Yep. Now, the thing is, by the feet of his father, that specific area is in fact the exact area which lies exactly under the dome of Abu Abdullah yeah. Hussein. Mm. When we come mm. to look at the, the uh, merits of Abu Abdullah Hussein, we say, for example, the poet Sheikh Yasin al Kufi, he says, Allah uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave Imam Hussein three attributes. مُسْتَجَابِ الدُعَبْ قُبْتَ لَوْ دَعَ الْدَاعِ وَلِفَ The dua is accepted for those who make dua under his, no. under his dome. And of course, جَعَلْ مِنْ نَسْلَ الْأَئِمَّةِ The imams come from his progeny. And تُرْبُتَ بِهَا الشِّفَ His sand, it has uh, shifa. Yeah. So this direct... State this direct position, this direct coordinate under the dome of Abu Abdullah al Hussein is in fact also right next to the body of Ali al Akbar. Mm. And personally, I think that even expands his status. Mm. That if you stand by the feet of uh, Abu Abdullah al Hussein and by the body of Ali al Akbar, that is where your dua is definitely mustajab. Mm. Interesting. So, um, should we move on to recite the du'a? Yeah, yes, please. The ziyara, yeah. sorry. You give us so much food for thought. Yeah. And we just kind of <laughs> <laughs> We're like, mm, yeah, you're right. Mm. Digesting, that's amazing. Um, so, the ziyara goes, <coughs> Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. Assalamu alayka, ibn Rasulillah. Assalamu alayka, ibn Nabiillah. Assalamu alayka, ibn Amir al-Mu'mineen. السلام عليك يا ابن الحسين الشهيد السلام عليك أيها الشهيد السلام عليك أيها المظلوم وابن المظلوم لعن الله أمة قتلتك ولعن الله أمة ظلمتك 
ولعن الله أمة سمعت بذلك فرضيت به اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد I think his um, martyrdom is just it's one of I mean they all have their significance don't they but mm -hmm. I think with his and however the narrations are of Imam Hussain you know whether he was martyred in one place and Imam Hussain ran the opposite way the grief of a father to have such a young son and you know his 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 characteristics are beautiful I, I know there's a narration of him telling um, of Hazrat Ali Akbar telling his mother that you know, put the pan of water boiling in a house so that when people pass, they think that we have food um, mm. cooking so that they may come in and we can serve them. And you think the generosity of Ahl Bayt and, you know, and their children, how they thought. Um, and such a beautiful character to have to then, on the day of Ashura, see that child, um, you know, and in yeah. the condition that he was martyred. It's, it's that um, is because of the certainty that they had reached. Yeah. So, for example, Ibrahim alayhi salam, Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam, when he was ordered to slaughter his son, Ismail, Ibrahim did not doubt it for a second. He, he put his, yep. his son forward to be slaughtered. Why? Because he has certainty that whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders is beautiful in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is the best. Imam Hussein knew that because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allowed this to happen, it is the best for the ummah. Sorry, I'm going to... When it comes to Prophet Ibrahim, the yeah. blindfold, mm. there's a difference though. Of course, there is, there, there, there is some sort of difference mm. in, in, the, in the way it was done. But nevertheless, do not forget that Prophet Ibrahim actually put his son on, on, mm. on a table ready to be slaughtered. Yeah. Prophet Ibrahim, regardless of how he was ready to do it, he didn't turn around to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and say, what are you doing? No, but my am, I, am I really going to put my son yeah. through this? Am I going to... And him having difficulty for him to get the son to begin with. My point is that Ahl Bayt never did that. You know, they... No, no, no. Of course, of course. The Yaqeen of Ahlul Bayt, the, the status that they had reached. Um, of course, many, of, many people would actually try to disagree with us. However, without a doubt, without a doubt... The yaqeen of them was higher. And the proof is in the Qur'an. The Qur'an says, when it comes to the story of Ibrahim, just like we just mentioned, he says, show me how you, um, mm. uh, uh, sorry, how you create life and how you take it away. And then he says to him, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, replies to Ibrahim, why did you not believe? Mm. He said, I have believed, but it is only so that I can reach more certainty. Mm. Okay, that's interesting. Whereas Imam Ali, like we mentioned before, yeah. Yeah. says, if the veil is taken away from me, I will not increase. increase. Yeah. Yeah. Well, as, as a final thought, because um, our time is, is, is really coming to a close, um, in terms of this specific ziyarah, and I think I want to I talk about this more in the, in mm. the next couple of episodes, um, this specific ziyarah, is this recited in the shrine or is this recited on a particular day? Um, how does it work with the ziyarah? The ziyarah of Ali al-Akbar, um, it can be recited at any time, at any point. Uh, usually, people do not uh, perform ziyarah for Ali al-Akbar unless they perform ziyarah for his father first. Yeah. Yeah. So when you perform ziyarah for Aba Abdullah al Hussein, it is good to then carry on to perform the ziyarah of Ali al-Akbar. And then to follow it by the ziyarah of the Ashab. The companions, yes. yeah. The companions yeah. who are all buried in the same shrine. Yeah. So usually, a lot of people actually stop after they finish the ziyarah of Imam Hussein. Stop, and some of them even enter, even when they in Karbala, they enter the shrine. Mm. But we must not forget that when we entering the shrine, there's also another individual mm. who an infallible has uh, has made a ziyarah for, mm. who has made a specific salutations towards, and we realize again the status of Ali al-Akbar is that none of the sons of Imam Hussein were granted a specific ziyarah, yeah. except yeah. for Ali al-Akbar. Yeah. None of the sons of Imam Hussein were granted a, a, a grave by themselves, mm. except for Ali al-Akbar. Yeah. Not to include Tafl al of course, he was, he was buried on the chest of his father, but only Ali al-Akbar was granted this. And likewise with the companions, it was only Habib ibn Mudahir that was granted a separate, um, a separate Shrine, grave yeah. and a separate ziyarah than, than mm. the other companions. Yeah, brilliant. I think on that note, um, yep. anything else to add? No, no. no. 
Well, that brings us to a close um, for, for this particular episode. Um, once again, many thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Ibrahim, really, really appreciate that. Definitely. Um, and I think in the next episode, yes, I definitely want to. Because the reason why I'm asking is because I know that there's a ziyara, for example, for Imam al Hussein on the day of Arafah. There's a ziyara for Imam al Hussein on the day of Ashura. There's a ziyara for Imam al Hussein on, for example, Eid. So do they differ in words? Do they differ in context? I, I would love to kind of speak more about that in, the next, in the next episode or not. Definitely, yeah. But I'm going for a tea break. And yeah. afterwards, I <laughs> um, hope you are too. Um, we will, I will be speaking to Brother Bilal on, on the specialist. So do join us. Um, and we wish you a pleasant day. Thank you very much. Likewise to yourselves. Don't go away. <laughs>